let me join everyone before me in welcoming you to this investor seminar, which where we hope to showcase the investment opportunities arising from Nigeria's economic reform and privatization activities. I think that many who have observed uh, the uh, this current the, the Nigerian government would agree that an article of faith for this government is the importance of mobilizing private capital and participation for improving efficiencies and uh, driving economic growth. And this clearly explains why we have this collaboration today between the Bureau of Public Enterprises, which as you know is in charge of our sectoral reform programs, uh, with the Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission and the Nigerian Exchange Group to host this seminar as an important platform for drawing attention to uh, investment opportunities for both our local and, and foreign uh, friends and collaborators. One thing this webinar will draw attention to is the fact that past sectoral reforms in Nigeria have brought about increased opportunities and extensive economic and social gains. For example, our pension reform, uh, which replaced the old defined benefit scheme with a contributory pension scheme, led to the creation of the Pension Commission, PENCOM, which now has over 12.3 trillion naira uh, in uh, pension fund assets under management. Similarly, the reform of our telecommunication sector increased the number of telephone lines in the country from about 450,000 in 2001 to currently well over 140 million active telephone lines and 97.9% teledensity. Equally notable is our port sector reform, uh, which led to the concession of various terminals, bringing about major investments and transformation of the various port terminals, including uh, in terms revenue, employment, and operational efficiency. Then, of course, we're all very familiar, I'm sure, with the power sector reform, which resulted in the unbundling of our old uh, power holding company of Nigeria, the PHCF, and the privatization of its successor companies. Now, this has not yielded all of the very excellent results we expected. But uh, I must say that the federal government is working with key stakeholders in the sector to address some of the various challenges impeding its growth. But I think that our experience with the private sector, uh, well, sorry, with the power sector, underscores the importance of using the right models in attracting uh, investment, especially uh, in, in, in the provision of infrastructure. And, and what, what, we've, what we've seen is that while you are privatizing utilities of the size of, the, of, our, of our former PHCN, we simply have to be uh, far more intentional in looking out for the right models and the right type of investors, and also uh, looking at funding for these investors over an extended period of time. And these are some of the challenges that we've seen, but I think that it's an excellent lesson and um, there's so much that we're learning. And clearly, um, uh, th th this will impact the way that we approach uh, privatization, especially of uh, government utilities going forward. Undoubtedly, a major challenge of the Nigerian economy is this limited infrastructure of stock. And this is something we've spoken about time and time again. Uh, is estimated to be about 35% of GDP. Uh, that, that's our infrastructure stock. Uh, as compared to 70% of GDP in pair countries. So it's clear uh, that there is a, a shortfall there. And given the limited resources that of, of government, government alone cannot provide the financial outlays needed to meet the, the very huge infrastructure uh, deficit there is and the needs of the economy. So it's imperative that we revert to the use of uh, the active use of public private partnerships to promote infrastructure development. And this approach itself requires clear and consistent guidelines 
for uh, for public private partnership arrangements and investor opportunities. This is why, after several years of relative ambiguity, I think uh, now we're at a point where the, 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 the government has introduced, by way of a policy circular, rules that clearly stipulate the respective roles and responsibilities of the Bureau of Public Enterprises and the Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission, the ICLC, with regard to PPP arrangements. I'm sure that there are several who had made, uh, who had complained about the lack of clarity uh, between the roles uh, in the roles of these two uh, uh, in the roles of these two agencies. But the policy is now that uh, the BPE, that's the Bureau of Public Enterprises, will be responsible for the concession of public enterprises and infrastructure that are already listed in the first and second schedules of the Public Enterprises Act. It will also act, that is the BPE, on behalf of the federal government as the counterparty on all infrastructure projects being developed on a PPP basis, whilst the ICRC will be the regulatory agency for PPP transactions with powers to inspect, to supervise, and monitor the projects and processes in order to ensure compliance with relevant laws, uh, policies, and regulations. So I think the clarity brought about by this new framework will give comfort to interested private partners and incentivize their participation in the exciting new opportunities uh, that are bound in Nigeria. An effective uh, demonstration of the PPP model is the success of our tax credit initiative, especially for road construction. Uh, today, several road projects uh, that may have presented funding difficulties for the government have been done under a scheme that allows private entities, especially private entities that are corporate organizations in Nigeria, to build while government forbears on taxes they would have paid to the extent of their financial output from the infrastructure. So what this means is that if a private entity is prepared to build or to participate in the building, of, of, a, of, of a, a government of government infrastructure, such a private entity will get a tax rebate, tax credit for the amount of money spent. You know, of course, these are and this would have to go through the normal approvals and all that. And this has proved to be very successful. For example, today the NLNG, the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas Project, is building the Bodo uh, Bonnie Bridge, uh, road and bridge. And this is a huge project, almost uh, 200 billion uh, naira. And it's building it on that tax credit basis. Also, uh, Dangote built the Obajana Kaba uh, Road in Kogi State on that basis. And is currently doing the Apapa Oboronshoki Road in Lagos, also on this tax credit basis. Furthermore, the federal government, through the Central Bank of Nigeria and the NSIA, and the African Finance Corporation, among others, are collaborating to establish a 15 trillion infrastructure fund under the auspices of an infrastructure. And I'm sure that uh, from the CBN's, uh, CBN governor's um, uh, speech a moment ago, we heard a bit about the workings of the infrastructure. But this for us is that, it, this for us is a very exciting uh, possibility. Uh, and there are so many. Uh, and we think that this opens several doors for infrastructure investment in Nigeria. We believe that given the credibility of the actors, I mean, that is uh, CBN, NSI, AFC, and the quantum of resources that will be deployed, uh, the InfraCore will make a major contribution to meeting the infrastructural needs of the Nigerian economy while promoting uh, public private partnerships. So, uh, as, I, as I close, let me reassure you that the federal government of Nigeria is strongly committed to, to this approach to national economic development and will consider it an important duty to create the enabling environment for uh, the required and much needed investment inflows. So we invite all investors from within Nigeria, as well as our, as our foreign partners, financial institutions, and the international investment community to take advantage of the opportunities offered by the Nigerian economy.
So it's now my uh, very special pleasure and privilege to declare this investor seminar open. Thank you very much.